Hey, it's the Art Chick here. Hope everybody's having a great day. I bought this sign at Joanne Fabrics. It was unfinished wood, and I thought it would be a great thing to unicorn spit on. And I'm really torching. I sped up the video. I have another video explaining how to torch, so please check that out first if you're interested in torching. And you don't always have to. Uh, right there, I was explaining that the rope is already glued on, and... You could torch it and it would catch a little bit of fire, so just be really careful or just skip that back part right there. And you could just unicorn spit it the way you like. Today I am working with a few colors. They will all be listed down below in the description. Um, it's kind of going by too fast. But yeah, I wanted to try different colors, uh, combinations. I kind of, I love the blues, you know. But this is more like, it's kind of like a sunset, but not exactly. Um, quite rainbowy, beautiful. And I didn't add any wood, or I didn't add any water to the unicorn spit. But I wanted a purple, and I do not have purple on hand. And so I, you can just mix them. You just mix them both, and that's fine. Unicorn spit works great with that. I did not spray the wood with any water first. I wanted to really soak in, but you'll see later on um, how I still get the unicorn spit to um, be a stain and show through all that burning because you want to see that. Uh, you want to see both, really. <laughs> and this is, I would say, it's not really a sloppy way, but let's say... You can do it pretty fast, even though this video is sped up. But you could lay it down pretty fast and still have some nice blending, as you'll see. So I'll let you watch, and I'll cut back in when needed.
Okay, once you got everything laid down, grab a couple paper towels. I use Viva. Honestly, I, it's like using cloth for some reason. I don't know. I love it. Saturate that and then begin to wipe. But don't go see how it's already on there. It'll be muddy. So you got to flip it over. Got to get some clean spots. And then do your next spot. If you see it getting money, just stop directly right there and swipe in the opposite direction. See how it's blending? That's how you get that really beautiful unicorn spit blending look. While in the end, it will show um, all of the burn spots. But just keep doing that until it's to your liking. And it'll come out beautiful. You could put unicorn spit on with your fingers. My glove fingers I like to use, brushes, anything. I've even used an old sock one time and just made it wet and put it on. Um, you could do pretty much anything you want. It's non-toxic. And it really just goes on so smoothly and beautiful. This is the sparkling um, gold. And oh my gosh, I just absolutely love it. And I forgot the actual name of it. And there's my dog. She just hangs out while I'm doing stuff. <laughs> Alrighty, back to the video.
I just want to talk to you a little bit about spit. It dries chalky and then when you seal it the colors all come out really beautiful. This it has to be an oil-based sealer. This is a wipe on poly and I just use the brush. Sometimes it makes it easier but as you seal it you know the colors come out and everything it, and it doesn't like ruin your project <laughs> because if you have a water-based sealer Unicorn spit is water based and it will just like reactivate it and move all of your work that you did all over. But look at that. Look at the difference. And it stays like that at the end too. It's not just because it's wet. It's a gloss. And if you need more um, information on how to seal spit, I have another video and I'll put it on the end screen for you. But look at that. It just came out so beautiful. I didn't show the other side because I actually put our address on there. <laughs> our house number and stuff. But I hope you ha have a great day and thank you for watching.